morning, good morning. I uh, hope you're all doing uh, great this morning. Um, we thought we'd put an extra special uh, show on for you this week with everything that happened yesterday and um, you know how our world, particularly in Wales, is going to look for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. We thought we would put an extra uh, show in this week. So this morning we are going to chat to you about mindfulness. And we're really hoping that this is going to help uh, some of you out there. I think, you know, when situations kind of feel like they're going backwards and not forwards, it can create a little bit of panic in us. It can create anxiety, worry. Obviously, Definitely. you know, people are worried for their jobs and things like that. And it's a really, really tough uh, time at the moment for, um, for everybody. So we thought if we have a little chat about mindfulness and kind of share our stories of mindfulness with you and then maybe that will sort of help you on your path. So I think, um, you know, it's, it's fair to say that I, I sort of got on the mindfulness wow. journey a long, long time ago. Um, I did my mindfulness training probably now about six years ago, I think, um, and I did my eight-week course. And you've recently done your eight-week course. During the whole lockdown period, yeah, the whole lockdown. I, I did it then. Yeah. And obviously, we've had mindfulness classes here and one-to-one -one sessions with Suzanne for a very long time, even since we were in the um, old clinic, so on Court Road. Yeah. Um, and, and they are immensely popular. And I do a lot of stuff uh, with Suzanne as well, one-to-one. -one. And I can honestly say mindfulness has transformed my life. Um, and it was like a light bulb moment. When I did my course and I realised, oh, I can turn off these thoughts. Yeah. So this little chatter that's going on in my head all the time and, you know, worrying about this and I must do that and, well, what am I going to get for tea? And I'm constantly living with these thoughts in my head, which is going to make me stress me out. It doesn't stop, does it? Your mind just keeps going and going and going. I know. Constantly, you don't realise until you do a little bit of this mindfulness and you think, ah, you know, it's, it's crazy in there. <laughs> As soon as I turned off that chatter, it was like, I'm so calmer, calmer, I'm so calmer yeah, chilled, you know, things go over my head now, because I'm always just in that almost like state of fight or flight, because because I never switch off. Yeah, you are, you're, you're, so you're I'm a state of anxiety yeah, on, on the lift. Yeah. It's like, so even though you may not necessarily feel stressed as such, so you may think, oh, I'm not stressed, I'm just very busy and i just got a lot going yeah. on. Actually, when you you know turn that off, it is like a different world. It's amazing. It is. It is. I mean, I'm on. Obviously, you've been doing it for a while, but I try to practice it each day and put a little bit of it into my into my day, hoping that it will just become natural and become a yeah. habit. Because yeah. when you do it, you you notice the difference massively. Huge. Just Huge. everything from sitting in traffic that I would just be stressed out. Now I think. Oh, it is what it is. Mm. And just everything is just more yeah. chilled. Yeah. Are, are you actually practicing meditation as well to help you on that path? I started, but I really I really want to. Um, but I haven't I'm not practicing it daily. Yeah. When I remember, then I do. Mm. But I really want to do it more because when I have done it, it's had a it's it's been really beneficial. Yeah. I think the the problem with my, uh, meditation sometimes is that when you start meditation, if you've got a lot of chatter going on in your head, it's really hard to sort of switch that off. So um, doing simple uh, things like maybe breathing exercises, focusing on your breathing, or doing like a body scan where you kind of go head to toe and you just kind of say, right, okay, how's my head feeling? Have I got any tension there? Let go. And I find that one really good. Yeah, the body scan. That. If you go, you know, I go from my feet and it sounds ridiculous, but you concentrate on your toes and then your ankles and then, and because you're having to focus your mind yeah. on that area, because I'm awful for, I mean, I went to yoga years and years ago and everyone else seemed really, really calm and I'm thinking about what I've got to make for tea and I, I find it really hard to switch yeah. my mind off, but yeah. that body scan, I can, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, and that's a lovely way as well. Another way is kind of um, listening to noises. So you're focusing on what you can hear, so the birds outside or, you know, your tummy rumbling or whatever, so you're just focusing on noises. Yeah. So there's little oh, things yeah. that you can do 
and um, I mean, gosh, you know, Suzanne goes through loads of different techniques, but mm. I think once you practice focusing on something, and, and you know, so you're not actually in your head and focusing on something, you can then develop that sort of mind um, meditation practice. And now I'm able to get into a meditative state very, very easily. I can switch off my brain and get there. And it is such a lovely feeling. Like when you really connect and get really, really, um, you know, super, super relaxed, it, it is amazing. And I get to a meditative state where I don't actually want to get out of it because the feeling <laughs> is so wonderful. Yeah. You feel so calm and so just blissful. It's like, oh, this is fantastic. And in that moment, you have no worries. No worries, no cares. It is literally just Well, you've just switched your mind bliss. off. I yeah. remember my, I had a different mindfulness teacher who took me through the uh, A3 course. And I remember her saying, you wouldn't go to the gym and work out constantly. You would give yourself a rest to repair. But it's the same with your brain. Yeah. Your brain is constantly going. Yeah. So you need to give it a rest, yeah. even if it is five minutes, yeah. one minute. Yeah. You know, I'll stop now when I'm making a cup of, cup of tea, I'll just stop and, and literally take a few breaths when I'm waiting for the yeah. kettle or to boil. Or even when you're drinking it. You're drinking oh, a yeah. cup of tea mindfully. Yeah. So you're drinking it and you're actually immersed in it. You're feeling the heat of the cup, you're feeling it go down your throat and, you know, and the smell of it and the taste of it. So we can take these little mindful moments throughout the day where you're just immersed in, this is what I'm doing right now, I'm not in my head, I'm here in the moment. And I think, yeah, start with, if, yeah, if you haven't done it before, just start with little bits. So just try that, you know, that cup of tea, drinking that cup of tea and being present and not thinking about anything else. Chocolate or, good. Oh, chocolate, yeah, immerse <laughs> yourself in your chocolate. If you put a chocolate um, in your mouth and you just let it melt, and that's all you think about is the chocolate. Yes, that's oh, lovely. it's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, love that, love that. But um, yeah, so whether it's like a little breath or whether it's just, you know, a cup of tea. Um, if you go onto our website or if you go yeah. onto the Get Your Vibe Up um, page, Facebook page, um, there is a little breathing technique in there as well. So this nasal breathing, that's really good. Um, so maybe you want to give that a try. Um, or go on to um, Suzanne's uh, Facebook uh, group as well, and there's plenty of things on there. But I think for us to get through this period now, you know, mindfulness is definitely a thing. It's, it yeah, is up there as our top tip. If you're going to do anything, top tip, be mindful. Top tip, mindfulness, and maybe try a bit of meditation too. So hopefully that has helped you today. Hopefully it's helped to um, raise your, your vibe and get a little bit of um, perspective on everything and make sure that, you know, I'm in control or feel like I'm in control and actually I don't have to feel the way I'm feeling right now. I don't have to feel worried or panicked. I can actually do something about it. And, um, you know, definitely turning off that chatter is going to help you massively. So have a good day. Hope this has helped you. And, um, yeah, join us on Friday. Have Bye. a great day. Bye.